share with you guys uh, something that I've been working on. I have for years had a problem with tool belts. If I put them on, they pull down my pants. I mean, I don't have any hips. And so putting a belt on me is like trying to strap something to a pole and it stay up to begin with. And then once you add weight to it, it just falls right off my body, um, which can create some very embarrassing moments on camera. So I have been working pretty hard at trying to find the right tool belt for my use. The other thing that uh, is become more and more important to me is organization. As you can see with it, within our shop, I have wall control walls all around our shop to hang my tools on. Um, and I, I love these tool racks that, that are made by wall control, um, solid steel uh, system with, you know, you can put so many different accessories and stuff on these racks. They're just amazing. But uh, I have been having a hard time staying organized once I leave the shop. And so a tool belt is one of those things that can really help you do that. Um, just an example, when I'm building fence, I often will drop my tools on the ground and walk around on the, along the fence line. And when you're out there in high grass on a farm, um, sometimes tools get lost and often my tools do. So anyway, Tough Built actually is a company that contacted me and said, hey, we've, we've got these tool belts. We were wondering if you could give them a try and, and, and see what you think of them. And so I went to their website and was looking at their tool belts. And like I said, I've always been skeptical of tool belts because they never stay on my body. But the design of this tool belt, um, it's got a clasp in the front, but it also Velcros on. It's a very thick material, very well padded. And so I'm able to strap this on my body pretty tight and it'll stay on me, which is extremely important to me. Um, and then obviously this, this clip makes it nice and snug. I haven't had a problem with this staying on my body. Now the amazing thing about this tool belt are all the accessories that clip onto it. I have a bunch of different pouches and the reason why I got a bunch of different pouches is because I've been trying to stay organized like I said and if I have a pouch for example this is you know an electrician serviceman's pouch. If I have a pouch that's specifically designed for a task and I know I do a lot of electrical work, so I just need something that's ready to go with all of my electrical gear in there. I can actually store all of my electrical supplies that I would use on a job in this tool belt because even if I'm just going to go out and do a quick repair and I don't want to put the whole belt on, I can still take this bag with me. And the nice thing about these bags is they actually have stands on the backside so you can set the bag up and on a stand where you're working and I just have everything packed in there. So I went and ordered a bunch of these different belts. Um, I have them for all different uses. You know, some of them I'll probably keep around for just, you know, keep it open for whatever I want to use it for. And some of them I'll probably keep stocked like this electrician's tool belt bag uh, with all of the tools that I would need to do electrical work. So I, I've fallen in love with this system, and like I said, I have taken this out and um, done some work with, with fencing, wearing this belt, and it stayed on my body very well. And, and even with fencing in situations where I don't want to have a belt on, where I need to be moving a little more, um, this is the, the one I used when I was doing fencing, and I just set it up out in the woods with all my tools in it, and that way, I had a central place where I could put things away as I was working, and that was extremely helpful to me. So these belts are awesome when it comes to organization. Now, another key feature, and I don't have this to share with you guys today, but I am hoping that it will be here soon and I can share it with you guys, but all of these tool belts, now if you look at this tool belt, you can see that it's got clips on the side, and these clips, you can, you know, take off and rearrange however you want to. Let's see if I can pop that one. They just come off just like that. And um, that makes it nice. You can, you can choose where it goes on your body. But the other thing about these clips is that the bags clip on and off very easily. So whichever bag you want on your tool belt, you just put it on and you can unclip it. So they're super easy to get on and off the tool belt in and of itself. They also have a wall organizing rack. So you can put these on your organizing rack and have your tool belts hanging right on the rack 
on your wall. Um, I have not gotten that rack from Tough Built yet. Uh, they've been selling out of their supplies. They're, they've become pretty popular pretty quick. But I have figured out that on my wall control system where I have the same rack that I have these um, tape measures on, I can slip these into, flip them down, and then I can put my tool belts on my wall control system. So if you have a wall control system, um, these tool belts will, uh, these, these belt holders, you can get a separate pack of them. So I have a, a bunch of extra ones here. So I can have some on my wall and I can have some on my belt. Um, but you can get, you know, packs of those and, and clip them onto a bar system on your wall control wall or anywhere you want to in your shop. And then your belts will just slide on and off and they could be literally on display on your wall somewhere lined up for you to see everything that you have. And for me, that's been a key part of organization of this shop is having everything out where I can constantly see it because I am horrible at putting things away. And once it goes into a drawer, the drawers aren't organized and I just lose everything. So having stuff like this where it's out where I can see it is very important to me. So when I got this tough belt system, that's what I had in mind was having it out where I could see it being able to have multiple bags that I could just clip on and off the belt and keep them pre-organized with tools that I would need for either framing or, you know, fence working or electrical. Um, they have just a ton of different great little pouches that you could also have on there as accessories. This one's got, comes with a pencil and a, and a little pad in there and, I don't know, some carabiners. The belt itself also has on the back side some loops, so you can clip them, some things onto the loops. I also have a separate hammer, uh, hammer holder, and I think this one you can just slide onto the belt anywhere you want to. It's, it's got a different type of clip, but um, you can use this for an ax, you can use it for a hammer, whatever it is you want to use it for. Uh, there's another little pouch. I've got another big pouch here with larger holes in it. That's probably something I would use for framing or building because it, it has nice big pockets for your nails. Now Tough Belt also has, and this is what they were actually advertising to me. I fell in love with the tool belt system, but they, they asked me to review uh, what they call their wide mouth tool bags. Now these are uh, very large tool bags. This is a 20 inch. I have a 30 inch on the way. I love these bags. Everything that Tough Built makes is Tough Built. I mean, this canvas is very durable. I have taken rolls of barbed wire and thrown them into these bags to carry them out into the fields. And so that is, you know, a big plus when you can have, when you're working in an agricultural environment, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who are contractors, framers, whatever it is, are always working in environments where things are just getting beaten up and tattered. Having something that is super sturdy like these bags is fantastic. And I don't know what they have around the mouse. It feels like there's a wire in there. It keeps its shape really nicely when you open it up. And it has a really wide open mouth. So you can look in there and have access. There's pockets all along the lining the sides, uh, some zipper pockets up at the top. And uh, I mean, you have access to anything you want to in the bag, you can easily see it. That's what I think the biggest benefit of the wide mouth tool bag is. Some tool bags that only open up so far, you, you kind of have a hard time accessing and seeing everything that's in there. The wide mouth gives you a really nice open space. But I love the quality of these bags. Um, like I said, they're extremely tough bags. So we actually have gotten a second 20 mount a 20 inch uh, tool bag that we use for our camera equipment and this particular bag right now is set up for external power so in here we have our uh, 520 watt inverter that we hook into our solar panel and this bag you know i can fit a lot of different accessory items in as well and so i carry this with our briefcase when we're out filming and doing work because it's, like I said, it's a super tough bag and it protects the equipment 
pretty well. I mean, it, it, at least the, the canvas is, is protecting it. And the canvas is so thick, it does offer some, you know, sort of padding to the equipment that's in here. But and these bags also have, along the outside, they have a lot of pockets. So you've got the pockets lining the inside, and you have a lot of pockets on the outside. Very nice design. Now, once we got thinking about using Tough Built for our uh, extra camera equipment and things that we take on site, I, I noticed that they had some briefcases and some business organization things because, and, you know, contractors, they need a way of staying organized while they're out on the field. And I have been using, I have a, an old leather briefcase. I love it. It was like a $400 briefcase. Absolutely love it. But when we go out and we film, on site when we're out in uh, an agricultural environment filming the type of videos that we film. I've noticed that it's not a very good bag for those environments. It doesn't hold up that well in tough conditions. Tough Built makes this business line of stuff that is just absolutely fantastic. This is a briefcase and it's large enough to fit. Let's see, I've got a computer in here. I've got an extra notebook. I also have, I could probably fit two or three laptops in this space. I have not been able to fill this bag, which is amazing to me because usually I'm carrying multiple bags for all of my stuff. It has tons of pockets. So you open up one area, there's a pocket with more stuff in there. And so it helps me stay organized because like I said, I need lots of places to put things. It has to be very easy organization for me or I lose track of everything. Um, on the back side here, you have a nice pocket that can fit both standard folders as well as legal sized folders. And it expands out pretty far. So if you are carrying a lot of files, that's very essential. I know that when I was working in commercial real estate, I used to carry around so many files. I probably had a bag this size, just full of files that I would have to go through on a regular basis. But um, now I don't have as many files. And having something like this is, is, is nice to have because I could have my files right there on the outside, but it's also not too bulky. It does fit a lot in there though. Uh, on the front side, you have a big pocket and I went ahead and got one of these, which is, I don't know if you'd call this like a personal organizer or what have you. But, um, it's a nice, it's got a lot of pockets on the outside. I've got some stickers in there. It's got our business cards up at the top here. And the briefcase actually also has a nice little holder for business cards on the side. Um, and then I also have, let's see, I, I keep a pocket knife in here. This one is the, uh, the Mark Swan by Kaiser. Very nice knife. You know, Mark Swan is that guy that creates like those $1,500 knives. He came out with a production knife made by Kaiser and it is just a smooth operating knife. Anyway, so this is kind of one of the cool things about this for me is that it has a spot for your iPad. And when we're out filming, I'm always having to figure out where I'm gonna store my iPad when we're traveling because I have to use the iPad in order to control our drone. And so this is just kind of a nice little feature. It, it, I don't even notice that it's in there, but it's nicely stored. I can access the plug to it, however, and um, it doesn't take away the functionality of all the pockets and stuff that are in here. I mean, this is just a well thought out design. I keep drawing pencils in here with a, with a sketch eraser because there's graph paper on there and I like to draw out the things that I'm building or, you know, even draw out, you know, in my head lighting and things like that when we're filming. So overall, I mean, this is just, it's a pretty heavy duty, very nice quality personal organizer. And the way that they designed their briefcase, it actually fits. With it filled with all those things, it actually fits in this front pocket. And I can't tell you how many times I have purchased combo kits and things like that, and you know, the organizer doesn't fit in the organizer's pocket, 
and you, you wonder you know, what the continuity is with these companies. This company has a lot of continuity between all of their stuff. Everything fits, if you've noticed. Every belt fits on every clip. Um, so everything is just completely universal and it makes it easy. It makes it easy to figure out where things go. See, I've also got a, a pocket for all of our hard drives and wires. And I don't even know what I put down here. Oh, some pens. But it, realistically, all these pockets on the front will probably be filled with hard drives. We're in the process right now of trying to get some additional hard drives and storage so we can keep our filming and production going. So this has been, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled with this system. I'm, I'm, I think Tough Built makes some really nice stuff. And they, I mean, they specialize in this type of gear. They also have a lot of saw equipment, like a miter saw stand, and they have uh, some saw horses. I'd like to try some of that stuff out. But when you have these companies that produce the tools, and then they also sell you their bags and things like that, sometimes the bags are expensive because of the, the brand that you're buying, and they're not necessarily made to the highest standard. These, in my opinion, are very nice quality for what you're getting. And like I said, they the, the design and functionality of this system is just fantastic. I mean, who, you know. Anyway, I'll post some links below if you guys are interested. You'll probably see this stuff on our channel a lot more, but I like to do a video when I'm when I'm working with a brand or a product, I like to do a video just introducing the product to you guys so you know in future videos when I'm working with something, where it comes from, what it is, and why I use it.